Hi, this is Ben from Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny, and I'm with... Duncan, from also from Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny. You might have seen us before. Um, what we're doing today is we're testing out, well obviously as you know all these chips all the time come out and they start bringing new ideas, new devices. We've recently gone from dual core chips to quad core chips. Now it's all very hard to work out exactly what all these mean functionally for you, the user. So we thought we'd put it to the test. What we did is we uh, got four different applications. We, we tried uh, ripping a DVD onto the hard drive. We did a full on virus scan. We played uh, a, a graphical game. Yeah, a graphical game. <laughs> a That's fairly right. graphical game. And, uh, and we unzipped a large file full of photos. All at the same time. Now, um, the DVD we used was uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Once More with Feeling. That's already in the machine. Uh, the, the game we were playing, it was Multi Winnier, which is a fantastic game for some indie developers. I think you should definitely try it out. Multi Winnier. Uh, we've just been unzipping a big photo file. Yeah, of uh, some of the pictures that we use on the site from time to time. And uh, using a McAfee scan, you can use any kind of scan you want, Norton, whatever you happen to happen, you know, like a or something like that. doesn't make any difference. The idea, of course, is that each process, each task, takes up, takes up another core of the chip. So with any luck, the quad-core processor in this one, no, in that one. In this one. <laughs> in that one. Uh, with any luck, that one should perform a lot better and be able to deal with it than this one. However, uh, yes. However, when uh, when we got these, uh, the lovely Acer were kind enough to provide us with these uh, with these machines. And um, when we got them, we did find that the quad core one was loaded slightly with uh, with three gigs of RAM rather than rather than the two that's in the other one. So we took one out. Yeah, we had to adjust that, <laughs> uh, make sure it was uh, even playing field for that one. But um, anyway, let's uh, show you how it worked. One. Two. Three. Three, two, one, extract. Okay, it's already pretty slow. Come on, start the scan. Three, oh, ready? two, one. one. It's extracting. It thinks it's going to take 4 minutes and 40, 25 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 seconds. It's counting down fast. Thirty seconds. And stop. Thirty-one and ninety-nine attempts. Thirty seconds. Okay, it's already looking slower. Oh no, it's speeding up a bit. Scan. Is it my pause? No, is fine. still going for it. The DVD is still happening. Well, it's a little bit jumpy and not quite as it as the other. Game still doesn't really want to play. Uh, it's not happy about playing the game. There's already not enough cores going on. Okay, here we go. We're getting there. 15 seconds, it says. 10, 5, stop. 1 minute 40. So, the results. Well, I can tell you that the dual core machine, that one there, managed an average over two tests go on. of. One minute and forty-seven and a half seconds. All right. And to finish the uh, to finish the, the unzipping process. Okay. Oh right. I see. Okay. And the quad. And the quad. One minute and thirty-six seconds. Right. So you've got about eleven seconds difference between the two. But of course, there was a bit more to it as well. Uh, one of the things we discovered when using the uh, dual core processor is you can't. We couldn't actually get the game to run at the same time. It would run, but we couldn't actually get it back up and playing. And uh, that was throughout the time it was uh, unzipping the file. Also, uh, what did you see anything about the what, the encoding of the DVD? As the DVD well? encoding was definitely sluggish when it was uh, when, it, when everything was running at the same time. Yeah, definitely going a fair bit slower, and so I'd, I'd worry a little bit about the quality you're going to get out. Yeah, and uh, and you know packets lost and stuff along the way. Yeah, I mean I think along with the uh, with the time itself, I mean those problems, I think they're starting to demonstrate how the extra two cores come into effect as well. 
Um, I was quite surprised though to see that it didn't make more of a difference in the tyre. I thought it would. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem on paper. This bit of paper. It didn't <laughs> seem. Uh, it didn't seem very much of a difference. No. Eleven seconds in in a minute, nearly two minutes. Yeah. Isn't a great deal. Yeah, but still, I mean, I know which one I'd rather have. Uh, but I guess we're just waiting for the uh, for the next upgrade from now. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. I mean, the acid test is: would you pay for a quad core, having seen those results, over a dual core computer? Well, depends on the price and depends what else is inside it. But I guess not, to be honest. I don't often run a game, unzip a, a file, and extract uh, and all uh, four things at the, at same, the same time. time. So yeah, I wouldn't be uh, too conned into this multi-core thing. <laughs> but uh, you know, if you want to buy the best, then do buy a quad core.